Hello everybody, so today I have a video um, where I'm going to show you some things I bought from Sephora recently. So it will actually end up being like Sephora and an order from a retailer, like the brand site, because Sephora was out of stock and I really wanted something. Um, so yeah, I also have two items that I either have returned or will return that I just wanted to mention because, um, yeah, I had some interesting experiences with my Sephora purchase. So let's get into it. So the first things I'll talk about are going to be the ones I bought from the brand site. So I made a purchase from Danessa Myricks because I really wanted to try the Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum and they had a sale for, I think it was 25% off and I ended up getting the um, Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette. So I'm going to give a quick review. So the Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum is supposed to be a mattifying and priming face serum. And this is just very interesting to me because right now I just feel like um, glowy stuff is really in. And we are kind of seeing a shift back to mattifying, but we're not totally there yet. And in the summer here where I am, Washington DC, it gets super, super hot. I sweat so much, I'm so oily, it's just like not my prime. So I wanted to try this and just see how it worked. So it's an interesting way of applying it or getting it out of the bottle. It says, do not shake, just tap bottom. So you kind of hold it upside down and tap the bottom and a little droplet comes out. So there you go, just a little demonstration. Um, obviously you're not gonna be able to see much because it's kind of just like a serum and you know, not gonna see a difference just yet. Um, my thoughts on this are, I'm not sure if I see a huge difference. I think I notice a slight one and sometimes with mattifying products, that's really all you need. I will say, I don't think it makes my skin feel dry. I don't think it makes my skin like more textured or like gross looking. I haven't, I don't know, I just haven't, it's not a stark enough difference for me to like really notice it but I don't want to say it's not working because I do feel like it kind of does work like I wore um, when I first got it on one side of my face while having the other side um, be not not using it um, and I did notice a difference I felt like it kind of prevented the like um, like full glowy oily face look so I felt like there was some benefits there but I feel like I need to try it a little bit more um, to really see the difference. So this is what I wanted the most and there was a sale and I think I needed like a certain amount to get free shipping maybe. So I ended up purchasing this as well, kind of on a whim. Basically they have the groundwork palette and the original is neutrals and they came out with a pink version. So I um, picked this up. As you can see, I've kind of used some of it. So the premise of this palette is these are kind of like cream to powder finishes and then these ones are powders. I wanted these because I use um, brown or black, you know, deeper eyeshadows on a daily basis to do my eyeliner and I was like, oh, you know, maybe if it's this creamy finish, like this will be, you know, a really good way to um, do my eyeliner. However, I would say that these are definitely like cream shades, but it's more of like a color pop cream shade versus like a... Um, potted eyeliner, which I guess is kind of my mistake for thinking it was a bit more of like a, I don't know, like potted cream shade, but that's kind of what I learned there. I think these are beautiful colors and definitely add a lot to my collection. I love this like light pink creamy shade because it can just like, you know, you put it on a, on your lid and it's very brightening and just adds this like gorgeous light pink. And there are some like interesting shades. I definitely think this palette is a lot better than the original. Um, but I think the creamy shades for me are a bit disappointing because I just am never going to use like these deeper creamy shades like all over the lid and I just think that's kind of where they work best is like as this one like you know you can kind of blend it out like that it's hard as you can see it's hard to like get a eyeliner brush and kind of like dig in to get the pigment you need so I don't know I'm still working on it I think the mattes are beautiful just to give demonstrations of how gorgeous those are so overall did i need it probably not probably kind of a bit of a um you know quick purchase wasn't the most thought out but 
I'm not like regretting it. I definitely think there's a lot of like experimentation and fun to be had with it, but yeah, I think I think I was a little disappointed with some aspects of it. I'm gonna take this off because I didn't even realize it was on there. So, anyways, those were the two products I got from Danessa Myricks. Next up, we'll go into the Sephora order itself. So the first thing I got was the Huda Beauty Mini Powder. So this is in the pink shade. I think I've mentioned in uh, some previous hauls, I got the Pat McGrath Pink Powder and that was kind of like a major disappointment. So because I was still into my like, um, like I still wanted that pink powder experience. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna just get a pink powder and I got the mini because I was like, I have so many powders, there's no way I need anything more than the mini, and I totally agree with that. Like, I've never finished up a full-size powder, and I have a million full-size powders, so got the Huda Beauty one in this cherry blossom shade, I think. Yeah. It also kind of has a nice scent. It's a little bit scented. Um, couple first impressions. The packaging is so weird. Like as you can see, you like open it like this and then it comes out like that. I don't know. I'm just find that odd. Um, even now I'm like, how the heck do I get that back on? Um, but I like the powder a lot. I find it smoothing. Um, I think it just like sits really nicely on the skin and is overall pretty much exactly what I wanted from a pink powder. So I feel really good about that. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy I got the mini, definitely did not need anything bigger than the mini, and frankly, I'm sure like a pink powder trend will go to style just as quickly as it came in. And I also don't think pink powder is really great like all over the face necessarily, but overall I'm happy I got to try this and have it in my collection because as I said, I wanted the pink powder, the Pat McGrath one didn't work out, so there we go. It was clearly a powder rage because I got the Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed finish powder. Uh, my friend tried this powder on in store and when she put it on, it literally took away, you know, all the like oil and grossness and also just looked like she was wearing nothing. So I was like, you know what? I really do want to try this. I also wanted to compare it to the number seven powder I have that's in my collection because I feel like it's kind of a similar vibe. So I got the mini. I think it's a perfect size because again, I have plenty of powders. Um... The full size would have been a little bit more expensive than I was comfortable paying with. Uh, so this just ended up being perfect and I've enjoyed it so far. I'm kind of like waiting to really dive into this until I use up some of my other powders in my collection. But this just the formula to me was something I really wanted to try. It felt unique. It didn't feel like any other powder. And the fact it just like looked like nothing on the skin was really intriguing to me. So bought that. Then... I bought the, um, this is the Pat McGrath Labs Lipstick in Night Kiss. This is in the cutie little packaging and it's this beautiful deep sort of red color. It has a bit of, um, I feel like there's a bit of like berry and brown in there, but this is just a beautiful color. It kind of gives like my lips a bit better, but like a more of like a moody Color. I also feel like it's similar to the Black Cherry trend, just again, probably a bit more pigmented. So I had seen this swatch for so long and I was finally like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it because I really like it. Did I need it? No. Um, is it probably similar to some stuff in my collection? Maybe, but um, I'll probably go test that out and see what it's really similar to, but I've been enjoying it. I like this color a lot better than the other color I have in this formula. So I think I don't know if it's like a different formula. This packaging's blue, the other one's peach, but I don't think that means much, but I just, I like that one a lot. Um, next I got, so in the first order I made, I ended up making two orders. In the first order I made, I got a sample of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. And um, I think it was either like a hundred point perk or just like literally a sample, just putting that on, but this one smells so good. It smells like literal cotton candy, even though it's the berry flavor. And so in the second order, I wanted to get to a certain price range to get a sample of something. And so I ended up adding this because I loved the first one so much. And I got this one in Sweet Candy, which smells a little differently, but um, I don't know. These just smell really good. And I felt like this formula was really good and actually was like addressing my 
dry lips, which I've really struggled with for a long time. I tend to like pick at my lips um, and they're already like lined and dry. So this was actually like one of the first lip balms I noticed like a big difference in. So this was in my second order to get um, a sample and I actually never got the sample, which is just so classic. Um, I opened up my Sephora order. The sample was supposed to be Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, which is like a very nice sample. I was really excited to get it and that's kind of why I made the whole purchase. But um, I ended up getting my Sephora package and nothing was in there. And then I eventually got an, uh, a message from my mail room saying my package had arrived um, damaged because it had not been taped up correctly by Sephora. And when I messaged Sephora about it being like, hey, you know, I made this order because of this sample. I used like 500 points to get $10 off. You know, I was just trying to get this sample. They were like, too bad it was free. Like we'll give you 25 points. So kind of frustrating, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know if I'll be purchasing much more from Sephora because I was like, come on. This is like the one, the some good things you do and you didn't even care about your mistake. So whatever. Then we're gonna move into the next two items that I'm returning. So the first is the Rare Beauty Happy Powder Blush. So this is, I guess I still have a chance of not returning it because I haven't yet, but I bought this after seeing so much about it. I, you know, it was, I felt, I'd seen a lot of reviews. I felt like I knew what it was about. I was like, you know what? It is like shimmery. It is, you know, this insanely um, highlightery blush, like, you know, I know what I, I know what it is and I'm like ready for it. I wanted like a beautiful, like glowy pink blush. Um, I just, I was really like reminded of like Serena, Car Sabrina Carpenter's look. Um, and I got this and it is just so glittery. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna try and zoom in. It's not like a um, great sheen in my opinion. It's very glittery. Um, there is like obviously a pink sort of base, but the shimmer is pretty large particle wise. And it also just kind of blends out to nothing. Like what's left are um, like glitter particles. So I'm just not super pleased with it. I think I'll give it like one more shot and like wear it, but I was just pretty disappointed. Um, so yeah, not a great hit for me. Um, probably gonna return, and I've actually have very rarely returned things from Sephora, but again, it's just like this is too expensive and really just is not looking like it's doing anything for me. So I was like, I think I have to like heavily consider returning it. So there you go. I, I mean, it's odd because I've seen a lot of reviews and I think the reviews are mostly negative, but I was like, oh, like, you know, even though it is negative reviews overall, like there are, the negative parts of it are things like I kind of either don't mind or would have wanted from it and I don't know I just the like glitter particles were kind of surprising to me and then the last product I got I actually don't have because I already returned it and it was the Fenty Ease Drops foundation I believe Kelly Gooch loves this foundation and I usually really like her recommendations so finally picked it up because I don't know I was just like you know what it's time to try it it sounds great she's always kind of discussed how it's like smoothing and really light and looks great so I purchased it and I just didn't really like it um I felt like it sat on my skin pretty heavy and would get caught in any sort of texture I had and dryness and just made my skin look very like cakey and makeupy. and I really noticed like no sort of smoothing or anything it was just kind of like a typical foundation in that sense um the thing is i just have so many foundations i love and i think are really good and actually i think most foundations in my collection are foundations that you know maybe some i like more than others but all of them i am happy to wear like i feel like they look good on my skin or they you know are overall a great foundation and this one i was just like honestly i wouldn't choose that foundation over any others in my collection so i ended up returning it um i don't know what it is um maybe my skin is just i don't know more textured than hers maybe the color was too light i don't know but i was just like you know what it's almost 40 dollars. it's not worth keeping a foundation i don't love 
So I was pretty disappointed because I really thought I would love that foundation. I had, you know, had it in my wants list for so long, thinking it was going to be, you know, the foundation for me and it just wasn't. So that is that. Um, so yeah, those are the things I bought in my Sephora haul. Um, overall, did not need to buy anything, of course, but I don't know, I was in the spending mood and I want to try some things out. Overall, there's some, you know, fun additions to my collection, but yeah, I think this was definitely more of like an impulse purchase and, you know, there's not a ton of makeup right now that's really calling my name. This one, this blush really was, but after a tough experience, it's really not anymore. So I think I'll be really, you know, exploring my own collection for the time being. But hopefully that was enjoyable to watch and gave you some quick uh, reviews as well. Um, but that'll be all for me today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.